Hi there, this is Sharon Waxman, the editor-in-chief of The Wrap, coming to you from The Wrap's studio at the Sundance Film Festival 2020. I'm so happy to welcome the director and the cast of The Nest, which is screening here in the premiere section. Why don't we just go down the line here and everybody introduce themselves, starting with Sean. Go ahead. Hey, I'm Sean Durkin. I'm the writer-director. I'm Jude Law, um, and I'm an actor. I am Una Roche. I <laughs> play uh, Sam. Uh, you're messing around. It's Sunday morning. What's happening here? Um, I'm Charlie Shawa. Okay, uh, thank you. We're going to keep it very serious. <laughs> I'm Una I'm Roche. Una Roche. <laughs> I'm Una Roche. <laughs> um, I'm an actor. Yep. Fantastic. All right, let's start with you, Sean. Nice to have you back thank you. at the Ref Studio. Um, tell us what is the story of The Nest and, uh, and, and what where it came from, sure. the genesis of the story. Um, so The Nest is a family drama um, about a um, charismatic entrepreneur, uh, Rory, played by Jude, who um, one day wakes up his family and says, I have a business opportunity in London and we need to move. Um, and they relocate to England and um, they uh, start to live in this manor house in the country and this unaffordable new life that they have um, begins to unravel and it's about how the family deals with uh, that transition. And and what's the genesis of this story? It's sort of an unusual premise. Yeah. um, I I spent a lot of my childhood between America and England and I think this, I had this um, very clear tonal difference in my mind between the two places at the time um, in the late 80s and the early 90s and I thought it would always be a very haunting backdrop for a film and and that's where it started and then within that I just wanted to explore um, how a move can affect a family. The the film is very much about a marriage um, Mm -hmm. and about uh, I wanted to make a film about a, a married couple that were very well rounded couple and complete couple uh, who are very much in love and attracted to each other but also fight and have chemistry and um, so I wanted to explore a very rich marriage at the core of the film amazing interesting do you talk about your character Rory and sort of how you approached him and we don't have Carrie Coon here who plays your wife who's wonderful so I talk about her as well (laughs) you talk about her too behind your back yes um well, when Sean first sent me the script, uh, I was immediately taken with and intrigued by the notion of a, 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 a look at a family that felt incredibly universal and also incredibly personal. There were so many threads to it that I could relate to, whether it was the character I played in, as the father, be, being my father, or indeed the father that I am now, or, 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 or as one of the children of the family. And that dynamic really stuck with me. Um, the character in particular, or specifically, I remember we had quite a few conversations early on where I... I, I wanted to make. I kept trying to try to make him more likable, <laughs> which is probably my own ego <laughs> at play. Um, and I think looking back, what that really was was just trying to mm, embrace a little bit what Sean's already said, which is when you look at a family and the actions of a family and the interactions of a family, um, you can see them warring and fighting but you can also see huge amounts of love and the two go hand in hand they don't have to be uh, isolated it's not about the falling apart it's not about a divorce it's about how do we survive the family unit and uh, with love underlying it you you suddenly are able to look at the humorous qualities of day-to-day life the arguments the uh, growing pains if you like of 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 children at different ages trying to um, um, weather that 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 journey and all of that was just intriguing so the part certainly was intriguing to me uh, because he 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 takes them through and on quite an adventure and 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 stresses it uh, the family that is considerably but he always does it I think with a really good uh, intention and so trying to make sure the uh, the different motives were clear was was really what drew me to the character and also what I enjoyed most about playing the character so Charlie and Una talk about what it was like with your characters how you approach them and you know you're working with some major 
uh, talent here, Jude and Carrie as well. How, and how, how was, what was that like for you guys? I think Charlie and I found a sort of like si- very natural sibling relationship pretty immediately. Um, his name in the film is Ben, and I remember I started, started calling him Bean like mm-hmm. immediately. And it just kind of took off. It was um, felt really natural in that way. Um, and in terms of working, you know, exploring the character that I play, Sam, she's a teenage girl. She's uprooted from her home and brought to a totally different environment. Um, and just navigating that change um, and, like, you know, carving out her own space in the world um, and in the family. Uh, you know, that's that's what the story was about for, for Sam. Um and I think working with these giants was really yeah. epic, um, especially f- for me and like watching the finished product and seeing Carrie Coon's arc and like watching her go from this businesswoman in her own right um, to more of a housewife role in England. Um, but then again, like carving out her own work in England as much as she could was really inspiring. And I think, again, relevant to like right now in 2020 and it's like the kind of drive and energy that um got you know women where we are now so that was kind of you know and jude you know jude is jude jude's the best (laughs) watching jude jude yeah jude was great (laughs) but carrie's arc was like particularly really inspiring for me to observe um i think una and or um sam and ben in the movie kind of go through a similar thing where they're just taken from their friends and their life and how they have it in America and then they have to move all the way across the country and everything sort of changes but I think there's a difference because where Sam kind of acts out in the movie Ben kind of like he senses things are wrong with his mom and dad and he doesn't really understand it all and he's very innocent about it but he wants to try and make things right but he always doesn't always know how so he's kind of confused in this since just kind of dazed having moved to this whole new place and I think working with um, Jude and Carrie and Sean I mean it was really great because they're all parents and they were very warm and loving on set and it was just great to be able to hang out with them.